So we got the, the foot valve. We got uh, some parts that I didn't put back inside the pump for a demonstration. Uh, here's the pump. Uh, I'll take it apart. You can kind of see how it comes apart uh, and explain a little bit more about it. Morning, folks. Today we're going to rebuild this pitcher pump. Uh, it was on the well when we bought our house, and it, it worked. We primed it a couple times and got it to working, and then after that it wouldn't work. So I bought a, a piece of leather. There's two pieces of leather that we'll replace, that you can replace. I'm only going to replace the lower one. Uh, there's a. This one has a rubber cup instead of a leather cup, so I'm going to try and see if reuse it and see if it'll work. So on the, this pitcher pump, there's a bolt right here. On this one, it also has. A set screw here and a set screw on the opposite side. Take those loose and this here comes out. And this mounts in here like this. I don't know how old this pitcher pump is or what model it is. Some of them I've seen this here is threaded whatever this part, this assembly is called. It's actually threaded inside of this here. This one just has uh, two little ears. Yeah. And it just twists and locks inside of there. Yeah. Locks in place. Yeah. And so next you'll take off this. And mine had some type of rubber that's uh, somebody a long time ago before me probably just makeshifted something. But this is a piece I purchased. This acts as a seal, and this is a weight. It's a, I have a little bolt that puts them together. I haven't found a bolt to replace it with yet. The one I had was all rusted up. But this acts as a weight, so when water comes through, when you pump it, it'll open up, let water through and it'll shut and seal it off so water doesn't drain down uh, completely out of the out of the pump. Also, that's what we bought this check valve for. It'll hold water. It'll, it will allow water to come up the pipe but not go back down the pipe. That way you don't have to prime it. And it's also got a screen on it that'll keep trash out. But uh, one thing I wanted to show is this is a three and a half by three, three and a half being the outer diameter, uh, three being the, the diameter of this inside flap. You can see that with the, with the smooth side up, I thought I'd bought the wrong piece. The smooth side up, it doesn't, it won't fit inside of this groove. It's almost like it's too big. But if you flip it over, so that you got the rough side up, it will fit. Well, sorry about that. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing and video at the same time. So it fits that way. And it kind of has to do with the way this leather is cut out it's got uh this this top smooth side is kind of got a good radius to it this bottom side's got like a little bit of an edge so it's actually a larger diameter and to the way this here is made it's got that got a little bit of a radius in there and so it just fits better that way so if you're having trouble try flipping it over And they recommend to soak this in water or vegetable oil for like 24 hours. Let it hydrate before you install it. So I'll probably do that. And then also, I don't have a flashlight with me, but you can see the inside of this one's pretty, pretty pitted and rusted. So I'm going to take a wire wheel and clean that out. I'm going to reuse 
this rubber cup. I, I, I'm, I've not looked. I've, I've looked on the internet. And I'm not seeing a rubber cup for sale. There's no telling how old this is. You can see it's it's worn a little bit. It's it's easy to get to after everything's assembled. So if it doesn't if it, if it doesn't work, then uh, then we'll come back and replace that. But we're going to next. We're going to glue on. This is our well pipe. And so we're going to glue on our PVC piece wherever it went to. We've got them primed. We're going to glue that on so we can thread our foot valve onto it. And then we will install it back in the well. So we got our piece of PVC glued on. We're going to add some Teflon tape. When you add Teflon tape, you always want to go counterclockwise to the threads or go clockwise, apologize, against the threads. That way whenever you screw the, the thread, the foot valve on, it doesn't, it doesn't take your Teflon tape off. 